Taurus, it's me Stormy and here's your horoscope for December 2018 and it is time to wrap up this year. We have learned a lot. We have had a sneak preview of what happens when Uranus touches itself into Taurus. So we have had some fun this year. But as we're getting ready here to wrap up the year, we get this deep breath in December, you guys. There's a chance to take some action, there's a chance to make some new decisions, and there's a little bit of revelation, but ultimately we get a deep breath in December before we jump and get ready to create, create, create in 2019. So before we jump in and talk about that, the 45,000 subscriber gift is still up. It's a 15 minute appointment for $15 to say thank you for 45,000 subscribers on this channel. Take advantage before it's gone. The link's in the description box down below and also at stormygrace.com. And also keep in mind that all of the major aspects and transits for December are at the blog at stormygrace.com so you're not missing absolutely anything, okay? All right, let's jump in and talk about this month. So first and foremost, we've had Uranus take his retrograde and move back into Aries, okay? So remember, Uranus is that energy that is breaking down structures, breaking down barriers, right? He's been in Aries for seven years, all right? So you've already worked on some of your identity stuff that had to do with letting go of things from the past. Aries being in the 12th house for you, letting go. What are these ideas around romance, around finance, around value, around your self-worth that you've had to let go, right? Did you have decisions from the past that you made and even though you're better and you're okay, you're moving forward, you've still been holding on to them, right? addictions, any kind of excess in your life. You've been working for the last seven years on understanding that it is okay to let your old life go and move forward into something else, that that is absolutely okay. So a lot of 12th house work, a lot of spiritual work has been happening. Your spiritual life has been shaken up and probably... For many of you, what's happened is you've been put in positions and situations where it advances you in some way or takes you in a different direction and it has been uncomfortable, right? It's the right thing. It's helping you go forward and it is uncomfortable, right? So with Aries or Uranus moving back into Aries, we're going to take another look here. Because Uranus is retrograde and Aries has so much to do with your identity, one of the things I want you to do, Taurus, is look back over this last seven years. Where were you and where have you come, right? Like how much progress have you made? Take a look over that. And also, let's identify these last little vestiges of identity issue that are still lying in this 12th house. What are you still holding on to and not letting transition out because it's standing in your way of moving forward. Now this energy is going to last until March so that um, you have some time to look at it and then Uranus will move forward into Taurus and then you'll really be in a shake up. It'll be so good. <laughs> okay, let's talk about the rest of the month. Right at the beginning of the month on the second, we've got Venus moving into Scorpio. Beautiful, not retrograde, and Scorpio lighting up the seventh house space. Now, right behind that on the sixth, we've got Mercury coming direct in the sign of Scorpio. Mercury is also over here. So your seventh house is lit up. If you've needed to have conversations in your relationship, make decisions in relationships. And remember, relationships are conscious, chosen people we have in our lives. So it's not just romance, maybe in business, getting that new relationship with yourself. It's okay. Have the worth to move forward. Charge more for your services, whatever that looks like, bring yourself to that next level. This energy is right, right behind there. that. We have got a new moon happening in Sagittarius, joining both Jupiter and the sun over here. So where Jupiter's at, we're wanting to expand. We're wanting to expand out, right? There's expansion happening here. Now with the sun here, we're wanting to be seen. We're wanting to be known in this way. So this is lighting up for you, Taurus, the eighth house space. This is a really important energy, especially considering that now we've had Venus come out of retrograde, we've had Mars come out of retrograde, excuse me, Mercury come out of retrograde, and it's all in the seventh house. This is relationships. But what has to happen from the eighth house place is some trust. We gotta have some trust. We've gotta have these deep conversations. We've gotta be willing to hear different perspectives, right? So if you've had things going on in relationships, even if it's not negative,
of things, right? This could definitely be a time for you at this new moon where we're planting our seeds of intention. We're beginning something new. There's new beginnings here. This could be something coming to fruition in that conversation. This could be, you know, maybe your partner's got some money coming their way. In the eighth house zone, maybe you've got a sponsorship, a collaboration, something like that coming your way. Whatever it is, though, there's an ample amount of trust that comes to the table with this eighth house energy. And of course, it's going to last us over the next four weeks, all right? On the 12th, we have Mercury, who is now direct, also coming into the sign of Sagittarius. So you see what I mean? The eighth house now becomes busy, a place of conversation, decision-making, discernment. Um, there's, It could get very busy in your life. Maybe you are collaborating with other people. And it's a holiday time, depending on where you are in the world, of course. It's a holiday time. Maybe there's just a lot of intimate connection happening here, right? Mercury and Sagittarius gets very open-minded. It gets very expansive. Maybe you're talking to people. If you work um, and you do business, maybe you're seeing clients from places that you've never seen them before. Whatever it is, it's a really nice open place for different kind of conversation. And you could be signing contracts and things here as well because Mercury is out of retrograde, okay? Now, when we get to the 22nd, we've got a full moon happening in Cancer. This is going to light up the third house space for you for activity. Now, the full moon says something has to be ended, acknowledged, or adjusted. So we're going to create a shift here, and it's in conversation. It's in thinking. It's in decision making. And I do think too, with this particular full moon, um, Ooh, I'm having a thought. Okay, but with this particular full moon, this could have something to do with travel or a trip or something like that. It could definitely have the energy of siblings, but I think more so than anything, this is like a a travel or maybe even a contract kind of energy that could be needing some acknowledgement or some shift to it as well. As well, just backing up to the 12th with this Mercury and Sagittarius, what could be happening is someone important to you or someone you're connected with could be traveling to you, could be traveling in some way, shape, or form, and then this full moon in Cancer is changing communication in some way, shape, or form for you. So, but it is a good energy. Work with it nonetheless, okay? Also, we've got the sun moving into Capricorn at that time. So remember, the sun is bringing light, heat, life, and vitality. So this is where you want to be seen. Now, when I think of the ninth house, I think of faith. But I also think of travel because it's such a holiday time. This could be travel. There could be something going on where you're wanting to travel, Taurus. This could also be the energy of education where at the end of the year, if there's something in your educational plan that you need to finish or you need to wrap up or maybe you have work, training, certification, something that you want to broadcast out. This is an energy over the next four weeks that you have to get something started or to be seen or to be known here. Maybe you've already started it, but now you're starting to get a little bit more attention at something that you're putting out there. That's a wonderful energy because the sun, remember, in Capricorn is going to be joining both Pluto and Saturn that are trying to level you up. They're trying to take you to this next place. So the work you have, the work you've been doing um, or that you need to do will definitely be in abundance here. Now, as we continue to travel through December and we even come to Christmas time to the end of the month, I again want to keep it in your mind that Uranus is still back there in Aries. As you're going through all these different things this month, the seventh house, the eighth house, we end with some energy in the ninth house. Where are you showing up differently or what behaviors do you need to shed with this Uranus in Aries energy? So look that back over, um, Taurus, because you want to be as much out of your own way as you can be so that in 2019 you can go out you can be known for the things you want to be known about you can make yourself a presence out in your world in your community or however that looks for you your expansion is certainly on the table over this next year so I hope you have a phenomenal December. I hope you like the background. I tried to get something a little sexy for Taurus energy. I actually was thinking about Taurus because <laughs> I am a Taurus. But I love you guys. Like this video, comment, share, subscribe, take advantage of your 45,000 subscriber gift, and I will see you guys very, very soon, okay? Bye.